Hello friends, I hope you're feeling incredibly relaxed and refueled. And as we continue into the, the remainder of our workshop today, we really wanted to inspire you with some actionable ways to start living out um, yeah, a higher level of self-care in your own life. And so you'll be guided through different examples of real life people and how they're doing self-care in their own journeys. So um, before we dive into that, one thing we wanted to make sure to touch on is just a little bit of a word of warning. Um, and really this portion of the class is more so just to really empower you to become a um, educated consumer. What most people don't realize today is that the personal hygiene bit, um, industry is actually a $6 billion industry. And um, in the US, there is actually little to no regulation on the ingredients that are used in these products. The FDA actually doesn't even have authority um, to be able to regulate what's used in them or to recall products in the personal hygiene um, industry. Um, and they, they don't even require testing on the ingredients that are used. So on the flip side, the European Union actually has banned over 1,100 ingredients from ever being used in products there. And um, it's just mind blowing. I think when I first heard this, I was like, what, are you serious? Like they should be protecting us from this, all these sorts of things. And I really wanted um, the government to take the responsibility for my health and what I was putting on my skin. But as I've become empowered and made steady, consistent shifts, um, we now are thankful because all the products that we put on our skin, we know um, do not have harmful effects on our body. And I'll share how you can start to make those steps as well. Um, but just a few more stats to share with you are that 34% of the ingredients used in um, products that have been researched by the EWG, which is the Environmental Working Group, um, to give you a little context, that group was created to be able to help empower consumers. And so they've done a ton of research and compiled everything into an incredible database that I'm going to show you here in a bit. Um, but 34% of the ingredients that they've found in products are actually carcinogenic and linked to cancer. Blows my mind. And 45% of the ingredients are linked to reproductive or developmental toxicity. Another um, staggering statistic if you really think about the effect that that's having on women and families. Um, and then last but not least, 60% of ingredients have an estrogenic effect, which ultimately believes, means they're mimicking estrogen in the body and causing hormonal imbalances because it's tipping off um, the balance because it's not really estrogen. It's a synthetic ingredient that mimics estrogen in the body. So on average, um, women are using about 12 personal care products a day. And I wouldn't consider myself a high maintenance girl. Um, I don't even wear foundation most days. But when I count up the number of, or number of products I use, it's actually, on a daily basis, it's actually more than 12. Um, so I encourage you, take some time and really just even write down each product that you use throughout the day. Um, obviously, guys are also using personal care products with their shaving cream and their toothpaste, deodorant, all those things. So for women, on average, they're being exposed to about 168 chemicals per day. And men are actually being exposed to around 85 chemicals a day. And what they're finding now via research is that babies, even in the womb, are already, even in the umbilical cord, they're finding hundreds, well, a, a couple hundred chemicals just in the umbilical cord before the baby's even born. So um, if this doesn't blow your mind, <laughs> I can't imagine what would, but I share all this not to scare you, but again, to empower you. And so we're going to share a little bit of a solution here. So first, I just wanted to touch on today. We've been using a lot of essential oils in our workshop, sharing with you all of the beautiful uses that we have used in our own life. And um, one thing people don't realize that typical fragrances, meaning perfumes and um but really anything like if you flip over the labels which ps not all or like companies actually disclose every single ingredient 
on the ingredient list because you're not required to. Um, if you flip it over and you see fragrance, that's an instantaneous, like I would get rid of it because on a score of zero to 10, a fragrance actually scores eight. Um, and the reason why you can see a little bit about it right here um, is it's really what, what fragrance mean means is that it's an undisclosed mixture of various scent chemicals and in ingredients used as a fragrance, um, blah, blah, blah. You can read it all. Um, but fragrances often have been associated with allergies, dermatitis, respiratory issues, and issues with the reproductive system. So um, you can see all the sourcing that EWG has listed as well. Um, and then I just really wanted to show you guys, first off, you can go to their website, ewg.org, and you can search by name your product to find out what it scores, zero to 10, on the database. Um, their website does have a little bit more information because you can see the average and then you can also see a breakdown of each of the ingredients, what each of the ingredient scores and what the associated side effects are with um, bad ingredients. Um, but there's also an option for their app, which is this healthy living app over here. And you can literally scan barcodes while you're in stores and things like that, which is beautiful. Um, and to fully disclose doTERRA, because of the type of company they are, you, you actually can't search their products on EWG at this point. Um, but I have went through personally and searched each ingredient individually um, because that's just the type of person I am. And uh, every ingredient in doTERRA's product scores between a zero and a three. Every once in a while there's a four. And that is the reason why I choose to use doTERRA's products in our family's life because not only are they non toxic but they have incredible quality essential oils that just up your experience and really give you emotional benefits and other physical benefits like killing bacteria on your skin or in your mouth um, on your scalp all those sorts of things so that's just one example but this is why um, one of the millions of reasons why i love doTERRA um, and how it's helped support our family um, so just to retouch on it, what will your self-care commitments be? Now you can just enjoy some space where you are guided through some other additional questions that help you really narrow your focus in on this and commit to what um, your continuing habits are gonna look like. Thanks for joining us today, guys.